Hello, my name is Barbara and I'm a PhD student at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History. Here at the Max Planck I'm part of the Biochemistry Group, but I'm also very lucky to be an, a Fellow for Interdisciplinary Life Sciences at the Joachim Herz Foundation. In my PhD research I study really old plant remains and residues by using biochemical and biomolecular approaches. I'm interested in how the people in the past used specific plants to better understand um, the reason behind their exploitation, use, but also processing or trading. In one of my projects, I study aromatic plants. So this means, for example, spices and resins, but also herbs or flowers, and even scented woods or oils. So basically, all the plants or plant products that have a lot of aroma and flavor. When we look at the past use of aromatic plants, this can enrich our understanding of many different aspects of ancient life. So the people in the past used these substances for different purposes, for example, to flavor their meals, in rituals or ceremonies, then um, also for perfumery or cosmetics, for medicinal or hygienic reasons, or simply to cover bad smells um, and to create a kind of pleasant and nice smelling environment. So in this regard, my research also looks at how it smelled in the past and how smell has shaped um, human behavior. Yeah, that's a really good question because smells or smokes or aromas, they're so ephemeral and, and volatile, they just disappear. So they are long gone before archeologists come and study the ancient sites. But luckily, they're not completely gone. So tiny remains of them are still remain uh, in archeological artifacts and we can still find the biomolecules of these former substances. To get the molecules out of the archeological artifacts, we use various different extraction methods. So for example, we use headspace solid phase micro extraction or also different solvent extractions or acid extractions. Lots of the samples that I'm analyzing are complex mixtures of substances. So take perfumes, for example. Our aim is to um, identify and characterize all the different ingredients in the mixture. Once we have extracted the samples, we analyze them either with gas or liquid chromatography mass spectrometry. So this means that individual compounds are separated first and then detected by mass spectrometry, which creates a kind of characteristic mass spectrum. This is like a fingerprint for identification purposes. And based on that, we can identify individual compounds. At the end, after we have done all these different analysis, we bring the data sets together to determine the overall molecular composition of a sample. And this forms the basis for identifying the different plants that people have used in the past. So these results can then be linked with other sources of information, such as ancient texts, visual representations like rock art or wall paintings, for example, but also with archaeological or environmental contexts. I'm always working towards sharing our results with the public. I really love teaching kids, but I also give presentations for public audience, for example, either live or online. But I also like to present data in a way so that it is easily available and accessible for people um, and so they can understand the science behind it. And I hope this video is also something like that.